If you want to become a software engineer, the first thing you have to understand is the difference between front-end and back-end development. The web is a complex place and web development is a very specialized field. So instead of doing it all, developers choose a particular field to concentrate their efforts. Some choose front-end or visible parts of the websites and others back-end, the under the hood and behind the scenes area. And some choose full stack, a combination of both. Before making the major career decision, give both a go. Not only because you can't fully understand one without the other, but also because it's worth finding out what works best for you. So if you're really at the very beginning of your coding journey, it might be worth looking at full stack boot camps or at least at a few online courses. It'll help you understand which area appeals to you the most. In the long term, most people consider that in order to be a good full stack developer, you should be an expert in both areas. This means that choosing to focus on full stack development is a choice you can make later into your programming career. Let's talk about front end development. You type in a URL and hit enter. The site loads instantly and ultra clean layout takes your breath away. Who's responsible? Web developers. Websites are now critical components for any business to stay competitive. Plus, as e-commerce and online shopping becomes more popular, there's no shortage of work for front-end developers. The front-end of the website is the part that users see. Everything that you could see when you're navigating around the internet, from fonts and colors to drop-down menus and sliders, is a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all controlled by your web browser. Using these tools, front-end developers use wireframes and mockups that designers create to build beautiful landing pages. Strong front-end developers can also accurately identify specific issues in user experience and provide recommendations to improve the design. It's also important to be able to partner with other teams across the business to understand specific goals and needs and opportunities and then execute on these directives. Front-end development is a super rewarding job. You can directly manipulate what the user is seeing. If you love making an impact on users' interface, front-end is probably what you're looking for versus back-end. In short, front-end developers are responsible for the interior and exterior design of the house. The structure is built by back-end developers and the style is dictated by the homeowner. And you all work together to build a beautiful home. Let's talk about the languages used in front-end development. Front-end developers must be versed in three main languages, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It's also important to have some other foundations. Bootstrap, React, and AngularJS are frameworks web developers use to make websites work on any device. You should also know libraries like Webpack and SAS, which package your code into a more useful time-saving format. Many relevant job listings also call for experience with Ajax which is a wisely used technology for using JavaScript that lets pages dynamically load by downloading server data in the background. Let's talk about front-end developer jobs and salary. If you ever looked at your favorite website and wondered what makes it tick or looked at the way that it was laid out and the way that buttons acted when you clicked them and thought, I wish I knew how to do that, then there's a good chance you'd end up re-enjoying being a front-end developer. Front-end development is a fast-growing area and there are many open jobs. And for a good reason. We wouldn't enjoy endless internet wormholes without front-end developers. According to Hire.com, the average salary of a web developer is 135000 And if you want to learn more about engineering salaries in general, watch my other video on how much the software engineers make next. So how do you become a front-end developer? The primary technologies you need to have are HTML, CSS, jQuery, and JavaScript. Also, knowing Angular and React will help a lot in the job search. React is a particularly good tool. It's more extensive than Angular, and you'll learn the ins and outs of front-end development. There are also more job opportunities in React. Second, I recommend that you work on proving your skills. Just having them isn't enough. You have to build a portfolio because hands-on experience matters more than theoretical knowledge or a degree. Projects are also the first thing that recruiters look at when you submit your application. So really, it's all about building your portfolio. If you're interested, you could watch my other video on how to build a rockstar programming portfolio. Now, let's talk about backend development. Have you ever wondered what's behind a website or an app? 
What data do they parse through and how do they collect it? How do recommendation algorithms work when you're browsing Netflix or Amazon? If you've asked these questions, you might be a good fit for a backend developer. So what does that entail exactly? Well, it's a complicated job and one that's in very high demand. People often think that there isn't much room for creativity in backend, but there actually is a ton. You're constantly problem solving and having to find solutions to new unexpected issues. You have to be inquisitive, curious, and hardworking. If that sounds like you, then you might be on the path to becoming an excellent backend developer. Let's dive into the backend development basics. The backend of a website is the combination of programming and technology that powers the website. It's basically the brains of the site. There are two parts the user never sees the server and the database. Backend developers build and maintain the technology needed to enable the user-facing side of the website to exist. Backend developers are responsible for maintaining, testing, and debugging the entire backend. This includes the core application logic, databases, data and application integrations, and other backend processes. Languages used in backend development, typically backend developers work with Python, Ruby, PHP, Go, or server-side JavaScript called Node.js. The technology that powers the web is based on open standards, so there are many choices when it comes to what language a backend developer should use. The decisions usually change from company to company, and sometimes even within departments, you'll be using different languages for different problems. Most modern websites are typically built with a variety of languages. The commonly used languages generally have several web frameworks to choose from when making a website. Like other parts of the tech industry, backend development moves quickly, so aspiring backend developers should stay aware of upcoming languages and frameworks. On average, backend developers make over six figures. The job is fast paced and challenging, and there are many open jobs. It also allows for creativity and innovation. So how do you become a backend developer? Most backend developers have some sort of formal training, like a bachelor's degree or a coding bootcamp. Taking a coding bootcamp is a great way to become a backend developer because it will help you learn algorithms and data structures required to pass all the whiteboarding challenges. If you enjoyed this video, comment below if you're interested in front end or back end web development, and hit subscribe to watch your new videos on how to become a full stack software engineer. Let's break in.